Hi, I'm Debbie Ford, the author of Spiritual Divorce. And when I went through my divorce, it was the most devastating time of my life. My parents got divorced when I was 13. I made a vow that I would never get divorced and certainly I would never do to my child what I thought had been done to me. And then here I was, my child was a year old and I was faced with that I was getting divorced. I was in such deep pain and really facing a future that I had no idea how I was going to make it. And when I was closing my eyes and meditating and really asking the universe, like, why is this happening to me? I kept getting this message that I was supposed to write this book called Spiritual Divorce. Well, I want to tell you, I was in no condition to write a book called Spiritual Divorce. I wanted to write many books, but that wasn't one of them. But I began the process of really looking at what were my options. And my sister came to me one day and she said, I want you to think about five people that are still angry and bitter years later after their divorce. Well, that was easy. I knew so many. And then she just looked me right in the eyes and she said, do you want to turn out like that? Spiritual divorce is about deep change. It's about using an unfortunate circumstance as a catalyst to create new futures. It's a process and it's called spiritual divorce because it is a spiritual process. It's about returning to your essence, knowing that nobody can rob you of your joy. Nobody can take away your passion. Nobody can take away an exciting future for you. And so I take you through these spiritual laws, the law of acceptance, until we accept things exactly as they are, without any self-deception or illusion, things cannot begin to change. And then we go to the law of surrender. The law of surrender tells us that the river is flowing one way and we can try all we want to go in the opposite direction. If we go in the direction of the river, we will arrive in new territory. Then we start to find peace. The next law is the law of divine guidance. The law of divine guidance says the universe is supporting us in growing and evolving, that there's something greater going on that even if we can't see it, we can start to trust in the signals that are coming our way. We can start to open up and allow other people to give to us. And all of a sudden we start getting connected in ways that we were never connected when we were married. Once we get through and we have that support, when we start to feel connected again, we go to the law of responsibility. The law of responsibility is really the law of freedom. When you can take responsibility that you somehow participated in the breakdown of your marriage or that there even is something inside of you that is wanting to have a greater life, that's wanting to grow and expand, we can begin to take responsibility. Maybe I am somehow the co-creator of my reality. Once we move from the law of responsibility, we move to the law of choice. We get to choose how we interpret the events of our lives. We can choose to have our divorce make us small, to keep us stuck where we are, or we can choose to use our divorce as a way to grow, as a way to have our children be happier, as a way to allow our gifts to emerge that we can give to the universe. So the law of choice says that we get to choose our interpretation and that is the beginning of real change, of real peace, of real joy. Once we get through the law of choice, we move to the law of forgiveness. Once we allow ourselves the possibility that something good could come out of this devastating circumstance, we start to let go. Then we can open our hearts and find forgiveness, even when we've been hurt, lied to, betrayed. Forgiveness is the key. Once we have forgiven, once we have cut the cords, let the people who are from our past be in our past, we get to step into a new future 
a new future that we create, that we have some say in. We've taken our power back and we're ready to become the greatest expression of ourselves. That is the process of spiritual divorce. That is the process that I invite you into so that you can use your divorce as a catalyst for having an extraordinary life.